everyone. If you have a fire and forget sound, like an explosion or a bullet impact, that would take place after the lifetime of an actor, or a sound that is not attached to an actor, you may want to consider spawning a temporary AK component. In our project statics, I have set up a function that takes a few parameters, and you will notice that after the early returns checking validity, we are spawning an AK component. There are a couple of things to note here. First, you have to provide a world context object, which can be done with a pointer to a U object. You also have to fill in the rotator, which I have done with F rotator. And most importantly, you'll notice I have disabled the auto post. The reason being is that I like to give space to configure the component before we fire and forget, such as making sure the occlusion refresh interval is off. Additionally, the auto destroy won't destroy the AK component the second you spawn it, only after an AK event is posted on it. After that, it's as simple as posting the associated event in either C++ or Blueprint, and allowing the auto destroy to do the rest, providing you have set it to true.